Good evening, guys. Uh, my name is Matesh. Uh, my friend Mutratinam has uh, done some uh, basic data formatting on the time series forecasting of uh, sales data. Now I will continue from uh, him this part. Uh, we will be looking up about the data pre-processing section of the data that we have received. So just for the sake, uh, this this is the data just uh, we have been working on the sales data now we look out into the data pre-processing section okay since uh, we'll be working only with uh, uh, numbers kind of data we have uh, some extra data that we doesn't need uh, for our model calculation so first of all we will re uh, replace or delete those data so let me go and do that so uh, we are doing uh, this uh, data cleaning in the current data frame itself uh, that's why i have placed in place equals to true so it saves some memory so and um, we are going to only get only two columns and those two columns are uh, order date and sales date so if i go and uh, sort those order date by assigning order now we can go and see the furniture uh, the data that we have sorted so we can see that uh, this is the data that we are currently have and the index number doesn't correspond that means that all the this, uh, this data's uh, date have been sorted as an order uh, so going to next section um, before proceeding for the uh, next model calculations first we have to check for any um, ambiguities in the data like uh, missing numbers or any null so let us check it so as confirmed again there is no uh, uh, empty data present in our data set so for finalizing the data frame we are going just for analyzing data frame we are going to copy the original data frame to another data frame so let's uh, group by this data frame based on sales and uh, we don't want this research in there. we we, will, uh, we have no no we have three columns uh, we will uh, make it as two columns only we want date and sales so we will go and proceed with that so now we if you see uh, of course uh, this will be completely removed in the next part but uh, right now uh, our order data and sales have been sorted and we uh, just been reset index has been reset so here the index is somewhat random uh, since we are sorted uh, and we have to reset index so we have done it over here then I, as I said, we don't need this uh, index spot. Our data doesn't need this index point to predict something. So we're just going to uh, remove it and set our order data as the main index. So if you go and check it once again. So as you see, our order date becomes main index. And sales become another column. So just checking this one. So once again, yeah, this is the index. Uh, index becomes our date. Now, uh, now if you see our date, our date uh, for a month there could be 15 or nearly 10 to 15 days present. So what if we just uh, uh, sample collect every uh, day's uh, amount uh, and uh, order it by month. So every uh, month's first date will be our uh, date, will be our in, should be in our date column. So let's go and proceed and do that. So this helps in understanding month wise uh, collection which is better in uh, data visualization so we have done it uh, so since it is uh, you can see for the month of January itself we can see nearly two to three dates uh, present so if I just uh, since I have ran this code if I go and press uh, press enter in it you can see that it's just uh, grouping it based on months so we will just copy get all the months so month wise data has been prepared all the uh, individual dates of the uh, current month is being summed and being brought up the first month of the date. So proceeding further, we will we will now visualize this uh, chart in the map plot lib. Let's see how it works. So this is our data. You can see some uh, high graphs, some low graphs, uh, some waves. So we can see that. Uh, our, our sales data has been peaked in January 2015 as per our data. So now we use some stats model. Uh, so why are we using stat models to um, 
get some further more information about the data so here uh, we are going to predict some other uh, or visualize some other data uh, uh, visualize some other information from this data so one is a trend and the increasing or decreasing value in the series and the seasonality the repeating short terms in the cycles in the series and the random noise is the random variation in the series and also received yield the minimum difference left over behind differences so, so we are going to calculate so let's do it and uh, let's uh, plot this uh, data in the matplotlib so i just press enter uh, for stats model you have to pre pre only install the stats model uh, ap so now it's done a uh, library so stats model library so now when i just ran this set of uh, code snippet i could see some uh, different set of graphs so this is the observed graph that we have seen and this is a trend this means in so now the trend is that um nearly 850 amount uh, uh we can see that uh, here it's peaking also uh, by the seasonal rates we can get some information about it so here we below we can see the dates so as per trend nearly ne from january 2015 to july okay uh, we can see some uh, increase in our sales uh, so that's our SA report. So, but uh, to visualize this chart furthermore, we are going to use some other libraries, paypon libraries, which uh, my friend uh, Bharat will take care of.